How much silver do you make in one full day on average? It's very difficult to calculate per day. But I make around 100 billion per month. So that's averages 25 billion per week. But I don't make 25 billion every week. Does it make sense? When it comes to life skill and also market manipulations and stuff, it's hard to calculate daily income because your daily income changes based on uh, based on the current market value and also based on the events. Like there are many many factors, not just the events, not just the market value. You know, there are many many factors is gonna affect your daily income but if you are asking how much money i can make from gathering per day uh average i make around 300 million per hour if i just gather and sell everything that's how much gonna average i'm, I'm gonna make like around 300 million worth of stuff i will get per hour and if i play 10 hours i'll make 3 billion if i play 5 hours i'll make 1.5 billion does it make sense but then there is other factors that you have to consider uh, when you calculate your daily income like such as if you make meals for example imperial uh, that's technically gonna improve your income by like you know 300% or 200% or 300% because you will be making more money from imperial trading than selling straight to market and when you are cooking meals, whatever you gather, for example, when you cook meals and damn, you make a lot like when, when you make when you cooking, for example, instead of selling the items, you will extra make maybe 30 percent more than selling the ingredients. So that's going to boost up your daily income a bit more. And also, let's say you gather the rough stones, logs and stuff. If you sell all the mats to the marketplace, let's say you're gonna make 500 million, right? But if you convert them to cooking utensil, with each cooking utensil, you will probably make average uh, 350K or 300K extra profit from each utensil. So that's gonna include extra to your daily income. So it's very hard to calculate uh, how much daily you can make from life skill it's all based on what you are actually doing because there is life skill and there is life skill i don't know if it makes sense so in the last week i haven't made much money or i didn't care about making much money because i wanted to get the uh, adventure logs all of them complete because i didn't do it because i didn't I was keep doing life skills so I didn't really need extra AP, DP or HP and after the adventure looks we had to do Herald's journal and then we had to do this Pavino journal. I'm still missing the uh, tri blue coral. If someone sells this one I'll complete this one and then I already bought this thing so I'll complete this book as well and the only thing left was the Dave's journal. So. Probably this week, if I get time, I'll go farm some soil ogle rings and then I'll get the rest and I'll complete this one. And then I'll focus on Hassassin a bit, season character, and try to get to that one to a decent gear so we can actually do a little bit of grinding while our aggress buff up. And we will be doing uh, infinite potion grinding while aggress buff up and once it's down we will continue with life skill what's profitable with 2000 mastery uh you mean like what gathering is profitable because like with 2000 mastery you will only reach 2000 mastery with gathering you won't reach 2000 mastery with any other things uh, maybe processing but yeah, with gathering, if you want money at the moment, uh, if you are going to sell straight to market, I think this uh, apply to most servers. Uh, sapping, if you don't mind logging, sapping, it's good money uh, per energy. Uh, alternatively, you can do meat gathering. 
if you are gonna cook and food is not bad you know you have to do it imperial trading and also you have to do like you can sell uh marketplace what i usually do i sell the special meals because special meals are easier to sell it's technically selling one special meal is like selling three normal meals so instead of fifteen thousand normal meals you only have to sell five thousand special meal and because special meals are rare and it's less competition when it comes to special meal selling uh, so it, they are easier to sell in my opinion so i sell the special meals and use the normal ones for imperial and if i have extra extra normal meals then i sell those to market as well but before you sell any meal to market make sure you calculate the bdo die and to see if you actually make profit or if you are losing money if you are only making profit like let's say uh 10 million an hour or 20 million an hour by selling the marketplace sometimes it's not worth selling the marketplace just keep those meals in your warehouse for imperial trading and keep that stock for imperial trading for the next two weeks and instead of cooking in that two weeks two weeks just spend the time uh for more gathering or for something else that you can do in your active hours that will give you you know more money per hour let's say 200 million per hour and if your energy is low you can cook uh alt meals such as vinegar uh, or like pickled vegetables or like anything that's uh cost efficient but it's gonna give you side dishes and then you can convert those side dishes for milk or contribution points rather than cooking big meals and trying to sell it to marketplace and only making 10 million per hour does it make sense the do you sell everything you get or how did you make so much silver watch your guides on youtube uh i do mix match sometimes i sell things that i gather even though i know that i will need them in the long run but at the time if i need money for an upgrade like when i was getting my gear i had to sell all my capras i had to sell all the shops hearts and everything uh, the only thing i didn't sell was the cooking materials like meat technically i didn't sell but the rest i sold everything in like cooking utensils and stuff but now since i got all the gear i need and i don't need any upgrade uh what i do is i keep all my capras as you can see currently i have almost uh, 9000 capras and am i playing in eu or na i'm playing in mina but i used to play in na when the na first release and by the way welcome and thank you for the follow shadow you got your infinite potion yesterday grats uh so what i was saying currently i'm not gonna sell any capras and i'm also not gonna buy any capras from marketplace so our goal is to get 500 billion worth of stock and then when the time is right hopefully when the devs start uh different uh events rather than giving everyone free house and shop every time because they can't figure out what to give the players they are like okay this week oh we don't know what to give to players so i'll ju we'll just give another hearts and shop if they stop doing that then the price is gonna go higher and then i'll start actually selling i'm most likely gonna sell concentrated magical gems and i won't be selling them any lower price like i listed for example i listed a thousand uh, concentrated magical black gems from 9.9 .9 million they are currently 8 million plus but i listed at 9.9 .9 million because i know it will come a time this is gonna sell at this price the reason they are gonna sell at this price is because the mats you need to make this one even if you buy the mats at mean price to be able to call it even you have to sell it around 8 million if you sell it around 8 million you will call it even but once the mats to make this one uh, goes higher let's say the shops become 2.5 million even 2.5 million and the heart is already uh, at the top max almost and when the black stones also run out of the market 
this is gonna skyrocket to almost 10 million again because it's not gonna be profitable to make this one and then sell it at 8 million or 9 million because you can just sell the uh, hearts and shops straight to market and uh, you don't have to deal with the processing you don't have to deal with extra finding you know black uh, stones you can just sell the hearts and shops and even this one sell it straight to market and you still make profit you don't have to deal with this one the reason i am saying that uh, this one will go high because uh the sales people are still buying like you might say like you know it's low price and you know it's probably because market crash people don't have money people don't buy it. that's why it's low it's not that like i check this uh total amount for the last two months like currently i'll i write down actually so since uh 21st so two days ago on monday night so in less than two days in less than two days uh it was 3049 so 349,000. and today is the 20 third so in less than two days almost like uh, 15,000 sold so in my server my server doesn't have enough users so in your server probably this is like maybe five times more sold in your server so as long as you don't need upgrade you don't need cash money right away I advise player to store all your uh, materials like this and the time will come it it might be next month it might be three months later i don't know but it will come and then you will actually make uh maybe i don't know maybe like 50 percent maybe 100 percent more money so my idea is save 500 billion worth of stock and then sell it when the time's right that 500 billion is gonna give me maybe it's gonna become like 800 billion so without doing nothing sitting on my chair i will be making 300 billion maybe in a week and then when when people ask me like you know how you how you make you know 600 billion or how did you make 600 billion worth of stuff in the next in the last six months they are like it's impossible the reason they are saying impossible because they calculate different than i calculate they calculate in a way like, oh, I make this much money per hour. Therefore, if I play 10 hours, I'm going to make this much money. And then that means I'm going to make this much money per month. So it's just not possible in their calculation. But in my calculation, everything is possible. And if I saved uh, 600 billion worth of gear without zero, now I have the base gear everything i need and i can have 2000 gathering mastery now it's gonna be a lot easier to make money compared to what it used to be but i was lucky one thing i was lucky with when i was making my money when i was making my money the market prices was pretty good like shops was going at uh 3 million each like the cons uh like the cons prices were like 10 million each so anything i gather i could have sell right away and buy my gear that i need so i didn't have to stock the market was perfect to sell everything right away and get the cash and buy the items in it but the only problem was i had to spend 20 billion for each accessories so six accessories cost me 120 billion but right now they are 12 billion so i technically lost money but didn't lose money because even if they were 25 billion i would still get it because in the long run by the time you know you wait for the marketplace to crash you will be making more money with the gear you have wouldn't you hit the liquidity issues and uh, no because i have 2000 mastery and i have other ways to make money and i still have buy more stock like if you see my buy list uh, i haven't refreshed for today but i constantly buy stuff like when you come to hearts and shop like 
Let's see if anyone listed. So I, I constantly buy stuff on top of what I gather. So I'm not scared of buying because I know with cooking and with other bits and pieces, I will be uh, sustaining my silver. Uh, liquidity issues in terms of selling, not buying. Uh, when the time is right, uh, they will all sell because I've done this before. Uh, in the beginning, I had 20 billion investment. I invested around 20 billion and that 20 billion made me 50 billion. In the beginning, in the first, first uh, in the second month. So after second month, the market prices went up. So I sold everything. With 20 billion, I made 50 billion. Uh, that's a good way to plan. Instant uh, gratification isn't worth it in the long run. Yes, that's right. But it doesn't apply to everyone. That's the problem. You know, if someone is new to game, they have like they want to play this game to enjoy the game, right? Someone like me been playing video for the last five years and someone like me already leveled three different accounts to 300 AP. Uh, I don't have to do anything, just sit still and make money and and chill because I already enjoy the game. You know, I've done PvP when I wanted it. I've done grinding when I wanted it. I did life skill when I wanted it. So currently the reason I'm playing this game to be able to talk to people and help people and and I still enjoy the game but now I can sit back and chill if I'm not gonna PvP for the next three months I don't care but for a new player it doesn't apply because if you are new to this game that's why I tell people the soft cap life skill gear is ideal for new players you get the soft cap around 100, uh, 1450 gathering mastery with that mastery you will be making 200 million profit per hour do a bit of boost to your cooking do a bit of cooking do imperials that's gonna be afk money as well uh, and then use that money to get your grinding gear get the 269 kutum ap at least and then use that ap to do maybe tier one not wars because you you would like to experience that you would like to experience you know pvp in this game unless you are against pvp you know some people like to pure pv games that's also fine use 269 ap in that case grinding grind when your aggress buff up so you get more profit per hour and then when your aggress buff is down or if you have in a spot that someone is bullying you or you know trying to ask you for a slot uh duel or something and then you lose your slot somehow and then you can go back to grind uh, life skilling and then you can use life skilling in that time instead of sitting and looking for another uh, spot and sometimes you you would like to grind on a day that's uh, not much contest uh, what do you call it in english con con contestant how to pronounce it contestant like maybe in your uh play time let's say 9 to 12 is gonna be spots are easy to grind those hours you grind with aggress buff up and then when they pick hours go to uh, life skilling so you will constantly making money the more this man talks the more i want to spend into gear for life skilling <laughs> that's the way na they are two billion a piece i wonder why they drop eu uh the reason prices going up and down uh differently based on the server it's uh what the general server population is doing and also how many people you have like for example if there's a patch comes uh in mina at the same time eu let's say uh there's gonna be event right Sharp, hearts and sharps prices are gonna like maybe they stop the hearts and sharps events right the price for hard and sharp is gonna skyrocket for EU maybe in the next two three days. But in Mina it's gonna take two weeks. 
Mina always comes like two weeks behind. Same goes the other way. When there is event comes, your price is gonna go down immediately. Our price is gonna go slowly. It's population, also the play style. Like Mina players doesn't really like much life skill. Even if they like life skill, uh, they don't like to use the calculator. I told this in my other stream as well like the calculator they don't know what it is like you know there's like numbers symbols and stuff so they have no idea what this is so they don't know how to use this thing compared to EU player they love using spreadsheets and calculators and you know research and stuff it's just like different regions different mentality uh, should I keep using energy potion when I'm cooking uh, depends uh, if you are not gonna go AFK right away like if you are gonna cook and then you know you only have 20 minutes gameplay and now you're gonna go AFK then don't use potions but if you know that you are gonna be online for the next four five hours or for three hours then use the energy potions while cooking and then as soon as your energy is full get back to gathering and then go back to cooking and if you are gonna be AFK more than 30 minutes just do processing in my opinion or if you have like 5000 durability cooking utensil and if you have enough weight uh, you can cook uh, dressing or red sauce and if you are gonna go a few hours long then you can cook these meals with monoskia to get more meal how did you save so much silver in six months uh, the first strategy never upgrade if you can buy if, if there is something you can buy always buy instead of upgrading because it's always gonna be cheaper to buy than upgrade never RNG like I mean this game is full of RNG but try to minimize it don't gamble that's the first strategy and if there is something that you are 100% need and you definitely can't buy from the marketplace such as these tools like this one 5 billion no one's gonna sell it for 5 billion so I had to upgrade it so I had to spend like 20 billion or something on it to upgrade it so unless it's something like this then you don't upgrade you always save your money and buy what you need and secondly when it comes to life skill uh, don't think about what you can do today think about what you can do in the next month or the you know the in three months time that's how you will make 600 billion in six months if you think about like you know what i'm gonna make next week or in a week time or what i'm gonna make today then what you're gonna do is like first of all you will have a lot of anxiety right like even when you cook meal like I have to sell these meals you know I gather meat or oh, no nah, what I'm gonna do I have to sell this loot and then you start selling them at mean price undercutting other players and then you're actually gonna lose more money instead of making more money so if you think for the daily like how much money I can make now then first of all your anxiety will kick in and then you will start you know you won't you won't think clearly and you will start selling your stuff for less value and then you will make other players make money from you but you won't be making much you have to let other players work for you you shouldn't work for them now you can focus on gathering while making old meals so you know how you say you have 15 days of boxes right now for the next two weeks you don't have to cook big meals you don't have to cook Valencia you don't have to cook media you don't have to cook balonos in that two weeks what you have to do is you gather when you have energy when you don't have energy you have to make alt meals you prepare all your alt meals for the next two weeks and then after two weeks you push out another amount worth of meals so don't cook like uh, 
you know, a few thousands of alt meals and then cook Valencia, a few thousand of alt meals, cook Valencia. It's too much back and forth. Just cook like alt meals for two weeks as long as you have enough meal to trade in. And then after two weeks, you you're gonna cook huge amount of big meals. And during that time, if you have like scroll like this, like live XP scrolls, or if you have like a in your server, if you can get like book of life and stuff, you can use those ones during that period. And then, you know, you're going to get a lot of XP. Rather than cooking meals randomly. In my server, it's very hard to buy these books. This book took me six months to buy. So I put pre-order and I only bought it like a week ago, two weeks ago. And took me six months to buy one. So it's very valuable book. And I will be leveling hunting with this one. But I have to wait for Odilita to get the master weapon. And then I will. So I can level faster. And I think our goal is going to be Guru 15. At Guru 15, we should be able to get four shops at once. Is this console? No, it's Mina. Console doesn't have uh, Manos gear yet. Do you think farming cows is worth it? Yes, it is worth it because uh, like for example let's say you have full energy, right? You, you have four, 400 energy. 400 energy is going to yield you probably 1600 milk, right? And then multiply that by 10,800. Even though it says 17 million. So if you convert that energy, 400 energy, you will be getting 10 million because of the elixirs, you know. But you get 17 million worth of milk. But milk actual value is not 17 million. So with 1600 milk, it's going to probably make you hundreds. Maybe 100 million, maybe more. So you have to consider... What's actual value? Like, don't calculate it as, you know, what's the max price on the market. So if someone is going to sell you a milk for 20k each, you will still buy it, right? If someone sells the milk to you, maybe 30k each, you will still buy it. So milk is somewhere like, you know, let's say 2,000 milk. In my opinion, 2,000 milk worth is not uh, like 25 million. 2,000 milk worth maybe like 70 80 million or maybe 100 million because that's how much it's gonna make you profit this is a bottleneck material so a bottleneck material you can spend like you, you your value should be higher so like you can treat 2000 milk as like a hundred million right you can say okay i have 2000 milk this is worth actual real worth is gonna be 100 million because that's gonna make me a lot of profit when I cook this one rather than selling on the market so I should go back to yeah you should always pre-order milk you will never lose from milk milk oatmeal I'll write a I'll make a video about what you need to buy like I always buy oatmeals Uh, what's up, Sevedic? Welcome. Uh, Jamesy, Barco Marco, Justo, Monkey, Ziton. Thanks for the follow. Welcome. Black like Roughstone. Yeah, Black like Roughstone. Roughstone, is it worth 3k? No, it's not. If Roughstone was 10k, you would probably still buy it when you need it. Oh, you uh, because they need onion milk and they are worth more than yes they are worth more than max price 
that's why I say I say when you sell, you know, you sell you said you were selling lean meat meat, right? Lean meat salad. So the recipe only requires one. So you can use the green one. 19k each, right? But when you make green one, you also get blue ones. And blue ones is 34k each. You may say like, you know, I will just use green ones and then sell the blue ones will make profit. But the real value of the lean meat salad is not 19. The real value of the meat salad may be 35k. Because it's 19, because it's the max price people can sell. So you have to, you have to calculate. Welcome back, Horsey. You have to calculate what the real value is for you. Is it a bottleneck item? You know, if it's a bottleneck item, what the real value? If the real value for lean meat salad is 35k each for you, then use the blue ones for cooking as well. Don't sell them. Do you buy the lion meat or buy the recipe that uses lion? In Mina, I can buy lion meat. In Mina, we have lion meat. If I want, I can pre-order it. <laughs> you guys, you guys will probably start swearing at me. Like, how dare you buy it like mean price? <laughs> Why don't you just buy the top ones? Like lion meat? What's that? What the fuck? <laughs> this guy doesn't even like the max price. He he likes the mean price. We have like 60k order that's that's why i say you can use that as an advantage you can like you can use that as an advantage like i can use this as, a, as an advantage that i have lion meat i can buy whenever i need so i don't have to get the line i just get all the other bits and pieces and then i make profit but for instance in your server when you go to logs look how much pre-order we have logs? 210 and in logs at max price. So you can actually buy the logs in your server and craft cooking utensil based on my workshop guide and just gather the rough stone for XP. I don't know if there are so someone told me they're around 6 gauge. Someone told me in EU, they are around six to seven thousand each. We have logs in EU, so the logs is like very cheap. Just buy the log, gather the rough stone, uh, make cooking utensil, sell them at uh, one million. You'll be making like three billion a day, easy. Like if if you play ten hours, you'll be making three billion a day. I advise buy pickaxe because uh, I honestly like gathering pilgrim heaven because first of all it gives me it gives me good amount of XP like very decent XP like compared to Behir maybe like 70% XP you get you know like if, if Behir is 100% the pilgrim heaven maybe like 65 70% XP so the, the XP is pretty good and the money is as good as getting me uh, meat so with meat uh, as long as you have enough meat for cooking you don't have to gather meat just gather the meat for cooking that for your imperial and then spend rest of your time in rough stone which is gonna give you same money that you can get from meat and also gives more xp than meat and also it drops capras a lot more than meat and you are pvping so you will probably spend all those capras on your own gear so you don't have to pay three million each for your capras so actually that life skill is gonna boost your pvp gear as well unless you already mastered like the capra 20 it's a different story but you will always need more for odelita eventually is trading worth it uh, not really. If you are a beginner, it's not recommending. Like trading, people still do it. Like high-end 
traders and to me it's unnecessary because you have to change your time to do something else rather than gathering and making more money so anything makes less money than gathering it's not worth it that's why hunting is not worth it right now like hunting is slightly less money than gathering if you are having problem with energy potions hunting is an option but the reason most of the hardcore players don't do hunting is because they will make slightly more money with gathering that's why they prefer gathering over hunting same goes with trades you know trading people will probably just do like a cooking workshops or you know instead of trading they will probably do something else with their time trading also requires a lot of macro management i never done it i i am just against the idea of you have to stack your horse and then run across the desert if they if they change the trading and make it like uh bartering you know let's let's say you how you make like a karak and then you trade stuff in the ocean to make money if they turn the trading like a land trading same as the bartering that you buy like a you know you upgrade your wagon or something or i don't know you buy a train or whatever you know you buy something you make something which you can carry more materials and and if they turn it into like if they turn into bartering system on the land it will it will be okay you know i'll probably try it out but with the current trading stacking and bugging the horses and stuff it's not ideal i don't like the system the reason they can't really boost trading is trading is like in a it's a level if you slightly uh if you slide the boost you know it's gonna be big like very big people will like abuse it but if you slightly nerf it it's gonna become useless you know trading is like something like they can't touch if they increase the income a slightly bit and people start abusing trading so i think trading is like the system trading itself is wrong in this game they should change their system and they shouldn't say like okay we'll just give more money based on the per crates if they do that then people start abusing the trading how about bartering i don't have time for bartering and i don't have uh, semi afk 10 hours for bartering if you're a player that have semi afk 10 hours gameplay that doesn't work and or if you you know working from home bartering is ideal and you can do bartering while doing gathering and cooking but for me someone like me work full time during the week and only have like five six hours active time you want to make that 60 hours active time as efficient as possible so bartering is not going to work for me what's the better money in your opinion lions snakes or scorpion with cooking i uh, for valencia you will need all and if you can buy scorpion meat or lion meat off the market you should buy them snakes you will you will gather there's always going to be enough snakes in your storage because you will always get more snakes than scorpion sell this what is this like you see when i say anxiety kicks in that's what happens when someone's anxiety kicks in they turn into billies like there's no one competing with you like what's going on like 35k like no one is competing with you like if you put up there see like like what is this and he's selling five he's not selling 10 or 20 you know if, if someone sell 10 20 or 30 i would understand but he's actually selling five thousand so he's actually and if he's like this guy smartest kebab this guy is like technically he's not stupid but he's stupid i don't know if it makes sense like he has enough brain power to be able to get all the five different alt meals and all the ingredients together to be able to cook this valencia meal 
He has enough brain power to be able to craft this Valencia meal, but not enough to be able to sell. You know, that's why some people are not... Some people are very good workers, but they, they never... They will never be a good managers. So, here's a one example. When you ask a player to do management side, marketing side, and also the working side, they just do this. So, he, he's a smart guy. He actually, you know, worked hard and made uh, 5,000. Unless he bought the 5,000 and he's like, oh, why did I buy this? I bought it externally. I have to sell it back. Unless he's trying to say, but it's a very rare occasion. And you can't make profit at this price. Like even I can't make profit at 31k. Like I would I wouldn't sell it at 31k. Like unless this guy has 2000 ma cooking mastery, which is like full pan manos accessories, then maybe he's like mass producing. Maybe. He can make profit. Buy it and create it for quick 30k. No, I cook my own. I don't need it. But. You know, I don't know. I mean, he's smart enough. Because normally when you click. When you click, when there's no order. It's. It starts from somewhere in between. Like normally people who doesn't think. Normally people who doesn't think usually like just put in a price that Whatever is the middle one, you know, whatever the game gives you the games give you this price. Okay, I'll sell this price I don't care But this guy is actually smart enough to be able to scroll, you know He has enough brain power to be able to scroll pages To be able to get to bottom I don't know if it makes sense But anyway, what else I need to sell? I need to sell media. I mean, what, what else I can say? What do you suggest me to do? I'm into life skill, but I have 50 contribution points, which I can use. Uh, if you don't have tools, you can buy tools with 50 contribution points. If you have tools, then buy farms. If you don't have farms, buy farms. If you have farms, then invest in cooking uh nodes if you have cooking your nodes then invest in workshops tool workshops maybe you need fast money to buy a pan accessory or something yeah the 31k so you will make i don't know like 50 50 million from it probably maybe he has like a 79 billion 455 and missing 50 million exactly uh, what else I can buy? So, for example, one thing you guys can buy is probably the fig. Uh, if it's this price, probably. But it's all, it also comes down to what's your actual mastery. It's like... I will explain this in the video as well. Uh, sometimes, if you are a beginner, it's ideal to cook your... Uh, on fig on date palm wine or on alt meals because each time you cook an alt meal each alt meal you will gonna make maybe 10 20 or 30 maybe 50 mil per hour maybe 100 mil per hour and eventually it's gonna build up like in the beginning it's fine but after that certain mastery like you know if you are high mastery like guru 50 or something cooking fig pie maybe it's gonna give you like 60 million per hour but you can use that hour to do something else to make 300 million per hour and buy the fig pie even like if it's gonna give you negative value it's still worth to buy i don't know if it makes sense it, it's like it's like i have to explain it in detail probably not ideal right now when i'm answering questions like, I can probably explain it in 10 minutes. And cheese. Yes, cheese is another example. If you are a brand new player and you don't have much AFK time 
or you don't have much active time uh like if, if you are a brand new players you know uh may turning milk into cheese gonna give you good profit but if you are a hardcore player and it's not gonna give you good profit so sometimes it's better to buy off the market i have 600k eggs yeah that's that's all pretty much all the grinders have that many they grind they pvp hard they don't care what's building up in their warehouse that they can explode and then they can't even bother to sell it to marketplace sometimes they sell it to marketplace and that's sometimes we get huge amount but then when you actually really need it that hoarding skill will actually boost you up a lot now you can make a lot of dressing with those eggs and also some alt meals for valencia i think So I'll buy all this fig, for example, because at my mastery, I will make more money per hour cooking Valencia meal with this fig than sitting and cooking fig. This guy I am buying off, they are making profit. Don't get me wrong, but they are making profit. They, they might make maybe 50 million per hour, but 50 million per hour for me to cook fig pie, it's not worth it. But if they are beginner player, 50 million per hour, semi AFK, cooking something, it's good money. And whatever I do on my stream, I always say like I'm very transparent. So I do everything on my stream in front of everyone, pure profit. But if you are already making <clears throat> Like, let's say you craft Valencia meal, right? And then with that Valencia meal you crafted, if you can sell and make, you know, 200 million per hour, then it's ideal to buy all the me meals off the market and then craft them and make 200 million just cooking Valencia meals. That's why the calculator is good. Calculator is your best friend. Adrian asks, how do you recover your alt full energy in less than a week? I think it's in a, in a week. I don't know. I haven't. <laughs> to be honest, it might be wrong. Like, I might be wrong. It might be 10 days. Or it might be a week. But uh, one thing you should know uh, that I didn't mention in my video. Whenever you are in your alt to gathering milk or any swapping characters or doing anything, you might not uh, notice but sometimes people spend in their alt for more than 10 minutes 20 minutes or 30 minutes in that minutes what you can do is make sure you have villa buff up uh, villa buff recovers more energy and villa buff doesn't run out if you are logged out so if you logged out of your alt your villa buff is gonna stay so just get villa buff every time you log into your alt characters get the villa buff and then if one day that villa buff run out, it means you spend two hours on that character already. So two hours you recover extra energy. So that's a quick tip. That's probably no one really thought about. Three hours, yeah, three hours. Especially when you get like every time you gather milk, just put the tent up. If you have tent, buy the villa buff extra energy. When you are uh, gathering uh, milk or when you are checking your warehouse, when you do farming, you know. I'll leave this one 28 for other players. The reason I make I leave this 28 is because when someone logs in, like Billy's, they will see, oh, someone is selling, it's 28. I better sell to this buy order. Do you get what I mean? So sometimes you leave one or two. Yeah, you don't buy everything. You have to think how other players play. Sometimes I leave like, let's say they have one. I sometimes do like this, buy 27. And just leave, just leave one for the billies. 
So if someone see this one, the game automatically put their order here. So they will let, more likely sell it around here. They won't even check what's going on up here. They're like, oh, it's one. Okay, we'll just sell it here. And then I just buy them. That implies to many MMORPGs, by the way, not just video. Brony Corin, thanks for the follow. Welcome. Oasis meal is so bad. Are you doing alchemy as well? No, I don't have time for alchemy. If I did, maybe. Uh, TD, TDY, thanks for the follow. Welcome. So I place a pre-order down. So if you are buying an item off the market and no one else is buying, what you have to do, make sure the items sell under this white. So even if you buy at six, uh, 6K, uh, 950, 6,950 or whatever, 6,950, as long as you buy under uh, this white, the price is gonna go down. As long as you buy over this white, the price is gonna go high, higher. So this is one of the strategies you can do for ma market manipulation. So if I need this one, like very desperately, I'll buy all, all of this. But if I know that there is no competition, no one is gonna buy, I place an order either here or a few below there to pull the prices down slowly, gradually. Every time I buy something, the price is going to go slightly down. Like the game, I think every 20 sec, 20 minutes or half an hour, it refreshes. They say, okay, someone bought a meal under this price, the price goes down. And then the more the top bracket is disappear, people start selling lower. So currently FigPi is declining, no one is buying. Probably everyone has enough figs in the inventory or enough fig pies or they somehow stop fig pies. So okay, that's something you can do with market. Not just fig pie, just like anything. You just gotta watch out the market, which one is selling, which one is not. You buy the items, like see how fig, fig pie is going up and down, right? Do you play in Mina? Yes. Like for example, in here, I don't buy a fig pie. Fig pie is declining, and then I use this strategy to pull it more down. If you use this strategy, it's gonna pull the prices more down. Because it's not popular. Like fig pie is popular, and then fig pie is not popular anymore. Fig pie is popular, fig pie is not popular anymore. So when fig pie is not popular, you have to use always buy, never go above this one, above 7,000. Always buy anything, whoever sell under white, always buy under white, and then the price will drop a lot faster than expected and then you have enough in your storage for the next two three weeks and then the fig pie prices will go up again because people will realize oh the fig pie is dropped we don't make any money so might as well we stop making fig pies they stop making fig pies prices goes on and then once prices hit here People will be like, oh, fig pie is 100, 100 million per hour, AFK money. Everyone, fig pie, you know, it's like a shepherd and sheep. Shepherds say, okay, fig pie is profitable, all the ships follow. And shepherds say, you know, fig pie is not profitable anymore. We have to move to lion meat. Everyone buys lion meat and forget about fig pie. And at that moment, you do the opposite. You, you focus on the fig pie when everyone else focus on the lion meat. That's why I say, when everyone else focus on the lion meat in EU, you gotta focus on the logs. In EU, currently the logs are 6 or 7k each. In Mina, logs are max price and pre-ordered. So you can grab all the logs off the market, have enough stock to craft cooking utensils for the next month, and then just when the logs at max price, you don't have to deal with logs. You can just gather rough stones and then make cooking utensils. People used to deliberately sabotage markets like that on an A. Uh, people tend to use streamers as well. So if a life skiller streamer, uh, they see, oh, he's buying logs or he's selling logs, he's gathering logs. 
maybe that guy is just gathering logs for the capras maybe he he needs capras for his pvp gear he gathers logs they're like oh if he's gathering logs it means logs is the prophet log is the new meta so everyone gather logs and then they start selling the logs because they are like okay we got this log what are we gonna do we don't have setup to do cooking utensils we don't know what to do with this so we'll just sell so they start selling so for example if you cook something that requires milk right you calculate based on video diet and they say okay you make 10k profit or maybe 20k profit and then you're like oh this is an awesome profit you start selling but you don't calculate the milk based on their true value so you probably cut like video there calculates the milk based on 10.8k uh, right but maybe one milk value is actually 50k you know i treat like one milk is that like not 10k I, I treat one milk as like maybe like 40k or something you know 30k or 40k so that means you actually lose money but video day telling you you actually make profit because it only grabs what you put in and then you just check okay milk is 10k each i'll put 10k and then based on video there i'm making profit and then i'm just gonna sell oatmeals you know i'm making a lot of money with oatmeals but you're actually losing money because milk value the amount it takes you to get that many milk to be able to craft that meal it's just not worth it like you're gonna probably spending hours and hours and it's only gonna give you like 10 million profit per hour because you're using milk and instead of spending for active one hour to earn 10 million from that cooking material uh, you might want to do something else you might just gather and sell everything and make 200 million profit so cooking is only profitable, you know, if you actually calculate like all steps, not just one step. Yeah, many, many people don't know the real value of the items. Like many people will treat like if when they see my warehouse, when they see my warehouse, they will be like, oh, you only have 150 billion. You know it's nothing and you know but they don't really they don't really see the value of the mats they get that's why when they gather when the prices is down they are like oh the price is down the shop doesn't make any money cap price is low you know everything is low i can't make any money and I supposed to make over 200 million but right now i'm only making 150 million because dating you know they don't make much profit because they calculate with the current market but if they calculate everything they get based on the based on the price they are actually gonna sell then they will know they are actually making money so currently if i calculate based on the current market i make around 300 million with the current market but if i actually calculate gathering based on the prices i am going to sell whether it's next month or three months later i'm actually making 450 like 450 million maybe 500 million profit per hour but currently based on the current market value it only looks like 300 making profit that's why many people start life skill and then they quit because they think they can't make money they, they can't get quick silver so they start gathering they sell everything they are like okay i only make 100 million per hour it's not my worth my time i'll just go do something else but he doesn't realize he actually gather material that's actually value at 200 million not 100 million because it's something selling at this price right now it's it's not its true value like sharps sharps should be minimum 2.5 million each like this is not its value so when i calculate what i gather and what i make is based on what i can make money in a few months later
Will I regret doing the life skill on my main turn? Uh, no, not really. You wouldn't. If you are gonna grind and life skill in one character, you can do that. It's just every time you life skill, like cook or something, sometimes you have to put your PvP gear in the warehouse. Or if you have like the pearl shop bags, some people use like switch with the bags easily. You put your gear into bag and then you switch easily. That's probably handy as well. But don't worry, eventually you will you will reroll. This game is designed to reroll. You know, eventually your PvP character will change. So it doesn't matter. Your life skill character will be the one always gonna stay the same. So currently date is very expensive. Like you guys see, I'll open three months time. See like everyone, someone say like, okay, date is good money, make date money. You know, it's good for XP, good for money. And then they are like, okay. And then they start making date and then price is going down. And then they are like, okay, date is no good money anymore. We're gonna do a fig. So they start doing fig and date price is going down. So when they start doing fig, date price is going up. So they were like, okay, fig doesn't make money anymore. We'll start making date because date is at the top. So we'll start crafting fig and then they start crafting fig and then the date crashes. So you get my point. So when, when they are crafting fig, you have to craft date palm or, you know, vice versa. I'm, I'm just giving this to an, an example. So currently date is popular and fig is going down. Look, date is at the max, date is at the max. Let's have a look at the fig. Fig is in declining, see, fig is declining. So once fig is going up, the date is gonna go down. My assumption. So if you if you check this chart, it's like it's it's like opposite. One is going up, but this can also be related to different recipe as well. Like I I just I just noticed fig and date pump, the ratio going different times. That's probably. It can be due to another meal, I don't know, but so once other people stop crafting, you stop craft yeah, you start crafting. When they start selling, you don't sell anything, you start same with same with uh one thing I'll show another one. Probably it applies to everyone's server. Organic Organic feed. Organic feed is the same. So Currently it's uh, 38, so it goes all the way down to 30, okay? When it hits 30k each, people will be like, oh, organic fit doesn't make any more money, so we should stop making money. Uh, we, stop, we should stop making organic fit. And then they start focusing on something else, they forget about our organic fit for a few days. So the price is going up. It goes all the way to max price, 47k. I sell my organic feed at 45 minimum, over 45k or 47k I sell. So this is the time I sell. When the prices start going down, anything under 40k, I stop selling. I stop selling and at that time I collect chicken off the market because I know that when the organic feed is going down at mean price, people stop making organic feed, so they will be selling chicken meat instead. So I buy the chicken meat when the organic feed is down and start cooking and stocking up. As soon as it hits the max price, I start selling back. So I do opposite. So that's something you can follow as well in your server. So I think one of the best things this game implemented one of the best things this game implemented is this, this chart. This chart is very useful. Like it tells you a lot of information 
for the last three months what's happening see uh, it goes to 2k under 2k like i bought a lot of chicken when it hits down here under 2k when it goes 3k i stop buying now i run out of run now i run out of chicken so i wait for it to crash again once it crash i'll probably buy 100k or 200k maybe 300k worth of chicken i did that with lion meat as well i bought a lot of lion meat i bought maybe six billion six billion worth of lion meat i bought off the market there's a documentation for you the extreme chip steak on tlc I'll, I'll have a look like when i when i first started this uh this character look when i first started this character i had I had to put the farms, I had to, you know, put all my notes, get potato and stuff. I had to sell everything to be able to afford to get a uh, trilogia. And then I put I put uh, my farms down. And then I was I was pre-ordering seeds. Like I was I was going actually here. I was going actually here pre-ordering let's say pepper seed right i just pre-ordered like even white seed i was pre-ordering white seed for example like this and one person goes to me like oh don't you know you can buy them off the npc why do you pre-order them and then i told him look you can buy them off the npc but if you buy them off the npc like for example they are 5k each if you buy them off the marketplace they are 3k or 4k if you buy 100 seeds it's gonna become 100k so with that 100k you can plant those 100 seed and then harvest those seed and then you'll be making millions <laughs> so smart five head you gotta you gotta think smart but of course i, I was saying it for in a joking way but yeah the reason i was buying off the marketplace is because uh, I have huge pink and my farms was my farms was here and I had to transfer the seeds from here to my marketplace and then get the seeds off here and then plant them here. So if I buy off the market, I will save 100k per farm plus Plus, I will save five minutes of my time trying to put 100 seed into warehouse. Doesn't make sense. In the long run, it's a big. So stingy. Yes, you gotta be stingy to make money. That's five minutes I can spend somewhere else. That's why I moved. Once I get to like Artisan 1 here, what I did was I moved my farms to here i plant them here and i made a second character for farming and i just buy the seeds off here with that character and then go plant them right away and the harvest and go back like this pretty easy there's a farm here you can plant 10 farms here pretty easy there's a good spot and it's only takes you 30 seconds to run back and forth so you just buy the seeds right away and plant them very handy they grow uh, slower over there the weather is not great but I only I only found once a day just enough to make me media meal I didn't farm like three four times a day if you are a beginner probably farming two three times maybe four times is gonna be very good for you but for me I just I just found just enough for me like I only found once a day so I, I didn't care if it's gonna you know I will harvest every five hours or in a five hours or ten hours so every time I ha harvest they are like 200 percent anyway right let's say you cook 15,000 per hour right dude anyone actually know how many we can cook per hour let's say 15,000 per hour 15,000 craft so per hour I'll be making 315 million profit making couscous and selling at this price I buy couscous when it's under 17. See, 17k, I'll put 17k.
240 and I don't cook couscous with uh, manos I cook it with uh, normal craft so 95 49 140 mil 145 million per hour I'll be making profit if I made couscous and sell it on 17 144 million per hour is not a great profit for me at my mastery so instead of cooking this couscous and making 144 per hour I buy the couscous at this price and then craft it into Valencia to make maybe 300 million plus per hour as long as a recipe gives me 300 million plus per hour then I cook it otherwise I buy it off the market at my mastery so this would be good profit for you but also you won't be making this much so someone with zero mastery what they will be making is if they sell at 17 they're only making 6 million per hour zero mastery 6 million per hour they are crafting and selling maybe 600 million worth of food they think they make a lot of money but per hour they will only be making 6 million but they will actually making me make money yes when people were gathering in Behir I went to Pilgrim Heaven I start rough stunning see that's also I was talking about the ship mentality you know shepherds say okay Behir is the thing or an event comes up everyone goes to Behir that everyone else follows and at that time I cre created my cooking utensil guide and cooking utensil workshop and I start doing Pilgrim Heaven instead so while people were wasting their time in Behir I was making a lot of money in rough stones now I'm back to gathering meat because cooking is decent money right now until I have enough stock and then once I'm done with season character I'll go back to rough stones again. 